What's up everybody, Johnny here from Boardworks Tech Shop. Uh, today we are talking about the Kinko gloves and Asco Snow Seal. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple of different glove options and how to weatherproof them with your snow seal. Um, so just going through the lineup here, we have the 901T mitt from Kinko. It's got a reinforced palm on the inside and thumb. Um, so super durable, really, really rugged, cold weather use glove. It's got really good thermal insulation in there. They also have the 901 glove, which is the exact same thing as this guy, but just in a glove form. Still has a really reinforced inside. So for those that are grabbing trees, grabbing board edge, putting a lot of wear on the inside of your glove, these are a really good option. Um, same thermal insulation as you have on the, the mitt there. And then for those that run a little hotter, you've got the 94HK. This is a thinner weight glove. Doesn't have that reinforced extra leather on the inside, a little bit thinner on the insulation. Uh, but still a really good, durable, extra rugged glove. The beauty of these things, they range from about $24 to $44. And the snow seal here from Atsco comes in variable sizes. We carry the seven ounce jar for eight bucks. Um, but the two of these together, you're gonna spend significantly less than most gloves on the market and they're going to outlast most gloves on the market. And next we'll be talking about how to snow seal them. All right, once you have picked out the Kinko gloves or mitts that are for you, the next step is to start snow sealing them. Before me, you see a kind of lineup of all of the different stages of snow sealing in your gloves, starting from totally fresh all the way to the end of the life of the glove. As you can see, each level kind of gets a little darker, a little beefier, and also a little stiffer. As far as the step-by-step -step process goes, the very first thing that you want to do is take the nick wax that comes with the glove and throw it away. This stuff is no good. Um, you definitely want to use snow seal for this process. Totally kidding on throwing it away, by the way. Uh, Nick Wax is great for boots, you know, any other kind of leather material or synthetic leather. The snow seal will actually penetrate into those pores of the glove, and when it cools back down, it will really trap and solidify in there. Um, Nick Wax is a little bit more surface level. It'll kind of wear off. This stuff will last you forever. All right, now we're gonna do the heating process. Um, you can pretty much use any style oven. Convection ovens are gonna be best, but most people at home are gonna be using an at-home oven, which is totally fine. The temperature range that you wanna be shooting for is between 120 degrees and 170 degrees. And most at-home ovens will start right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat now. And once this gets up to temperature, we'll be ready to bake. While you're waiting for your oven to preheat, uh, this is a very good time to write your name on your gloves or customize them in any way you want to do so. Um, a lot of people rock Kinkos on the mountain, so it's good to have your own personal touch on them. Um, there's a couple of places that are really good to do so. Um, they come with this little tab that you pull the glove on and off with. It's a great spot to put your name. Uh, it doesn't mess up your gloves at all. Or you can customize them in any way you want. Throw your name's big and bold right on the front. You can have somebody do some nice artwork there for you if you're an artist yourself. You know, make them your own. All right, once you got your gloves customized, it's time to throw them in the oven. It's very important to have a timer set. The one thing that you can do to blow it on this is to forget your gloves in the oven. You can definitely overcook them, especially when you're at the top of the temperature range um, at home. So set a timer, that way you don't have to worry about it. You don't get distracted in the middle, but we're gonna go ahead and throw them in for a preheat. You can just set them right on the middle rack and start your timer. All right, once your timer goes off for the first preheat, it's good to have your jar open and ready. So we're gonna put these gloves on to apply the beeswax. Um, so go ahead and set that aside, pull out your gloves. And they will be nice and toasty, but they won't burn your hands. Just throw them straight on. And you want to take a big glob with each thumb and smear it all over the gloves. Rub your hands together, get every bit of the leather coated, especially on the seams. You wanna get the little tab on your wrists. You wanna have a clean paper towel on standby so you can get it all wiped off if need be. Uh, especially where the scrunching is of the glove, definitely rub it in there very well. All right, once you get that initial coating done, it's time to bake the snow seal into the glove. So we're gonna throw them back in the oven. We're gonna start the timer again. Um, and as you can see, we have some excess snow seal on the fingers, totally fine. Like I said, these are pigskin leather and they are porous, so uh, when it reheats, it's gonna open up and really absorb all that snow seal in there. Um, and we shouldn't have too much excess when we pull them out. Get ready to start your timer, throw them in on the center rack, and here we go. 
pulling the gloves out, you see that most of that snow seal is absorbed into the glove. At this point, you can stop here, or if you want, you can throw another coat on. Wetter climates is definitely nice to kind of really reinforce that waterproofness, so we're gonna throw a second coat on now. And we're gonna do a second glob. All right, we got our second coat on there. As you can see, they're noticeably darker. The two coats is kind of the comfortable spot that you want to be. You can go a little more if you're in a really wet climate, but the more that you put on there, the less dexterous they're going to be. They're going to get a lot stiffer. Um, so the happy medium is usually about two coats. And it's very important that after any coating that you do, you throw it in for a final heating. So we're going to throw them in one more time and set our timer again. All right, after our last heating here, you'll see that there's a little bit of excess still left on the glove. What you wanna do with that is just take a nice clean paper towel and just kind of buff it in there. You don't want any drippy sealing wax because it'll kind of solidify and be cakey. All right, and from here, you just wanna let them dry. Um, usually it takes about 24 hours for them to fully cool down, so do this a couple days before you go riding. All right, once you got your snow seal applied, you're set to go from here. As you can see, the glove has gotten a lot darker from when we started. Um, with every coat, they're going to get a little darker, a little less flexible, a little less dexterous. Um, so apply as needed. You know, usually once a season is good. Um, but if you're grabbing trees, grabbing rail, you know, sometimes you need to add a little bit more. But don't overdo it. You don't need five coats on a set of gloves. Um, one to two coats is good between every round that you do it. You'll notice that the Kinkos come with a little loop for a tether. Um, they don't come with the tether, but you can pull one off of another glove. You can go grab one from any kind of uh, outdoor sporting store, or you can make your own if you want to do so. It is nice to have a tether on there though. Um, it allows you to kick the glove off when you're running a little hot, or if you need to use your phone. That way you don't lose the glove that you just put all your hard work snow sealing into. All right, when you're ready to purchase your Kinkos, always remember to shop local, shop small. Um, you can find them right on our site at boardworkstechshop.com. The link is below in our description. And if you have any questions, feel free to call us at 360-526-2181. And I hope you all have a good winter and get some power.